You guys are in for a treat today. Oh yeah, we're on a special lake. One of my favorite lakes in Southern Illinois. Let's put the glasses on. That sun's already up. And we're talking about sea lake. Folks, this is one of my favorite lakes in Southern Illinois, if not my favorite. It is a 9-9 lake. It's got some, some very specific rules, but if you've got a 9-9 boat, this is a treasure in Southern Illinois. So uh, I kind of like to look at it like kind of a small Kincaid, but uh, I've got my buddy Reno. He's coming with the 9-9 boat today, and we're going to go out here and catch some big fish, put some big fish in the boat. He's got live scope, so we are going to do some live scope active captain uh, videos today off of cedar and it is going to be fantastic welcome back to another episode of three pound fishing thanks to these great partners so yeah southern illinois has some just fantastic lakes several of these 99 lakes exist around southern illinois so don't get hung up on just the rim lakes the kincaids the egypts and the crabs i'm telling you right now these small 99 lakes are just beautiful and uh the settings are always fantastic yeah an absolute treasure. So this lake, just to tell you a little bit before Reno gets here, it's 1,700 acres. I think it was actually dammed up in 1974. Relatively clear water, um, lots of structure. Actually, they publish the fish attractors on this lake. And uh, what else can I tell you about it? You know, you're, you're good bass fishing lake, very fantastic bass fishing, great crappie though. And that's what we're after today. Um, I started a new um, live scope group on facebook it's called live scope everything you need to know check it out i'll put a little link here to it also put a little picture so you know what you're looking for but that group is growing big time and so we put a lot of the videos we also put a lot of the topics that people are talking about how about that mega live that's a good topic and that new lawrence system so worth it check it out please subscribe we're about to put fish in the boat so this is a new boat for Reno. This is actually my maiden voyage on this boat. And I'll tell you what, it is clean. Very impressed by what, what he has done. And having that 12 inch live scope on it, man, I'm excited about hitting all the 99 lakes in Southern Illinois. So buckle up folks. It might not be a fast boat, but I can tell you what, it's super clean and we're gonna have a ball. All right, folks, we're on the water. Buddy Reno, say hi hey. to the fine folks. We are uh, late November, water temperature is what we got here? 51 degree water temperature. On a beautiful, won't be a bluebird day, but it's gonna be pretty close. And uh, you just don't get many days like this. The winds and the temperatures are gonna change drastically next week. So we're trying to take advantage of this time. In Reno, both said it now. Our favorite lake is right here, baby. It's gonna be quiet. That's the first fish, first drop. <laughs> Woo, baby. It's a small fish, no joke, but that is exciting. Lots of whites on this lake. That's a, that's a, that's a skinny 10 right there. Better fish. So yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day. We're right here in the holiday season. Cold fronts around the bend. And uh, visiting some of these smaller lakes is just a treat. Do me a favor, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. We don't, uh, we don't stop fishing. In fact, we fish a lot during the winter time. Even when it's brutal, we take Reno's uh, deep V out a lot more then for the protection of that windshield. But uh, Follow us along as we're gonna be uh, bearing the, the elements there uh, on our home lake for sure. 
first location change. Small fish on the last one. We're moving to the main lake. Seeing if that changes it up a little bit. Big fish here, folks. Good fish. Look at this dandy. That's, that's <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Woo, baby. Main Lake. Been here for three minutes. That's a solid fish right there. There's a scale down there. Oh. Good, but that's a, that's what we come for. There was about five of them, four or five of them down there, swimming in there. I gotta really get my jig out of here now. All right, there it is. A classic cedar, eh, 12 and a half, 13 inch fish. Beautiful white. We're gonna let them go though today. Man, that's fun. That is fun. And there, and you saw it, man. There's, there was like five of them down there. Four or five of them swimming around. <laughs> this is fun. Come fish with Reno, I catch all the fish. It's great. Yeah, put it on gray, Reno. Look at that one. Gray's killing them today. <laughs> Gray's killing them. <laughs> We're messing with these hair jigs. Just having fun with them. I've got some Jinko fishing baits as well with me. I'll give them a holler and try them out here. We're just we're messing around. I haven't been on the lake in a while, figuring it out what colors are working. Right now it's just uh main lake is the only thing we figured out. <laughs> <laughs> and gray is not working. And, and anything Reno touches isn't going to work. No, it's not working. <laughs> yeah. It'll be in the mail. Am I going to get reimbursed for gas? <laughs> you really can't beat these days in the wintertime. I'll tell you, clear. And on these 9 9 lakes, it's just so quiet and peaceful. We caught a lot of smaller fish at the beginning. Uh, definitely identified that we needed to be on the main lake. And as you'll see, we're going to put some bigger fish in the boat here shortly. But that was the key, is getting on the main lake, slowing down the presentation, vertical dropping on them, of course, and just keeping it still. And eventually these fish would react to that. But I'll tell you what, we did move around a bit. and uh, But it was fun being back on that water. And uh, that's, that's the best part about fishing, in my opinion. You're seeing a lot of nature. Um, you're just enjoying the day. And me and Reno had a great day on Cedar, for sure. <laughs> it's not that I'm being, I'm having a bad day fishing. It's he's blocking me. Oh, I saw that one. <laughs> well, I had to get him. I had to give him one fish. <laughs> so anytime I go fishing with Reno, I have to expect the unexpected. And the foot pedal went out on his trolley motor, so I ended up having to use the actual remote control, which is something I don't typically do. So going around and and messing with it while I'm fishing was interesting experience. But nice to get that experience and. Uh, Reno has a plan of perhaps getting a used Ultrex on this boat. Oh, another good fish. <laughs> that looks better. I would have caught that if I wasn't being blocked. <laughs> well, you got to do what you got to do. Three pound fishing guide service, even in Reno's boat. Look at that. That's a nice black. 
I don't see too many blacks over here, but I'm using that smokehouse, that pink slasher head from Jinko Fish and check them out. I believe this is a six pound line, two number seven split shots just because I'm trying to get rid of them. I'm trying to get rid of them. I'm trying to get rid of them. I don't want no seven split shots. I like fives and fives and threes. So the interesting thing about Cedar is that half of it is ran by the city of Carbondale, the other half is uh, monitored and ran by the IDNR. The, uh, so there's two boat ramps, Pomona and the Carbondale, and uh, we chose to put in at the Pomona one today for whatever reason. We just wanted to fish this side of the lake, but you can manage the whole lake uh, in one day for sure. But we're, we're fishing primarily just the south side of it. I think it's 1,700 acres. 1,700 acres. I think. And it was, uh, like I said earlier, it was dammed up in 1974. Carbonell, City of Carbonell gets their water out of it. Let's hit a new spot. Okay, right over there. <laughs> Bunch of small fish, but we are having a lot of fun with it. This is definitely the best uh, amount of fish we've seen up to this point. Such a nice quiet day on the water. So just to give you a little flavor of cedar, um, look at the rock formations around this lake. It's amazing. This is just a touch of it. You obviously can see some there in the foreground, but just absolutely stunning and beautiful. And it's, it's all around the lake, just something else. It's a beautiful day. Now check out these, look at the rock formations, folks. Check that out. I mean, that's what makes cedar special, all these rocks around it. Something's all jacked over that tree. Sometimes I do get like stuck. Damn, they're getting bigger. There's a little bit bigger. Fish. Can we get the jig in there? <laughs> All right. So I can't. I can't do the active captain right now. I just don't have the energy to hook it up to his. Uh... <laughs> I don't have the energy. So get up to it, but I'm going to show you what it looks like here where we're fishing. Here goes my jig. Oh, it just moved. Need to be up or down. See those fish. This one down a little bit. Oh, they're good. You got one coming on you. Look at it. Double. Hey, thanks for joining us today, folks. We appreciate it. 
Cedar Lake, check it out. It's a great fishery, a lot of fun. I'm not good. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.